up the drain. That feeling of exhaustion, of planning lessons, teaching kids, engaging kids, and making everything like super exciting all the time so that they're super pumped for your class. You're all like, hello? Hello? Idea? Are you there? I only have like hundreds of kids to teach and lots of lessons to plan. <sighs> Sometimes after all that we do as teachers getting an idea for an art project, at times can be difficult. Today, I'm going to talk about some places where you can get ideas for what to teach your students to get some of the stress out of the way. A great place to start finding um, inspiration for um, art projects is by visiting local galleries and museums. Um, you can Google what galleries are in your area. Lots of them um, are usually having opening receptions for their shows on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday nights. And you can find a gallery that has work that interests you um, and then visit their website. So look for a page on their website that says upcoming shows and there you will find their opening reception date and time. Usually the artists are always in attendance as well as the gallery owners so you could probably talk to them and uh, get some cool behind the scenes information from them about their work and their process as an artist. Next we'll talk about um, nature and the real world and there you can find um, a lot of cool ideas so think about what the kids are doing right now and some of the stuff they like. Usually, usually you'll see them bring um, that stuff to school and hear them talk about it. For example, Fortnite and Unicorn. Um, and anything like that is like really hot amongst the upper elementary and middle school group right now, but that could very well change. Nature inspires a lot for um, landscape art or still life work. So think about how you can incorporate your local environment into your lesson planning. Next. Another great place you can um, find information is on Instagram because Instagram is a hot, hot place to find awesome art teachers. So you can also follow the um, hashtag uh, art teachers of TPT to find great um, art teachers that are posting um, art projects and ideas. Um, and then you can also follow me on Instagram at Ms. Artastic to see some of the art projects and ideas that I post on my account. Of course, Pinterest is also an option because who doesn't love Pinterest? Um, I'm not sure if I really need to explain, but if you don't have Pinterest, you are kind of missing out on a lot because Pinterest essentially is a search engine and so you should treat it like one. Um, so type in a project or idea or a project idea of what you want for a certain either grade group um, and then it will search and bring up images and links to literally like hundreds of ideas for art projects in the classroom. For example, try typing in Earth Day art projects or elementary uh, art projects um, or perspective art projects and see what happens. Children's books offer great ideas um, and you can look at a picture book and get a lot of inspiration for projects um, either through the um, message that the book is conveying or the illustrations in that book. Um, and it's a great way to actually pair a read aloud with um, some art in the classroom. You can also look at TeachersPayTeachers.com for ideas. Um, they have a lot of great art projects on that website. And if you type in a theme of an art project, such as spring art, pa art projects or middle school art projects or perspective art projects, um, different art lessons will come up then. And the benefit of using TPT is that these lessons come completely prepped with all the handouts visuals and even sometimes they include rubrics and lesson plans. Essentially everything that you need to teach a lesson successfully and like this will save you a ton of time. That way you can get back to enjoying the finer parts of life. Last, um, let me see, take a look at published book ideas to keep your um, on your shelf in your classroom. Um, there are many book publishers that create art ideas for kids and I'm sure um, Amazon and your local bookstore can totally like 
send you to the right spot um, to take a look at some of the cool um, current and popular books there. Try out these suggestions and see what works best for you. You never know what might spark a new stroke of inspiration um, or a new idea or what might bring back the energy in to your teaching. Comment star! I want to know what your favorite tool or place is to get inspiration for your art projects in your classroom. Please leave your response in the comments section below the video. And you might be featured as my comment star in a future video where I post both your comment and username. Like this video and click the little bell up in the top to receive notifications when new episodes arrive. As well, please subscribe to this Artastic channel. For more art tutorials, head on over to my blog at MsArtastic.com um, or you can head on over to my art teacher um, resource store on TeachersPayTeachers.com and there I have tons and tons of art projects and art resources for teachers. Um, for more behind the scenes footage, uh, please follow me on Instagram at MsArtastic. See you next time.